session we are going to explain the concepts of price list price list is nothing but just creating a separate or a specific price list or price rate for a specific customer okay it can be for a specific product or can be for a group of products let's see how this works in the case of a quotation normal quotation what we are creating it there is no option for the price list okay for enabling the same I'm going to the settings users then select the user to whom the price list should be enabled that is admin purchase price list and sales price list as per your requirements okay that is enabled Go into the sales again, then quotation, create. Let's see what happens. What's the difference between the previous one? Let's. As you you can see here, a new menu called priceless has been came. New field. Okay. There is a public price list. There is a base. Okay. Creating a quotation. No customer defined. Okay. Creating a customer. Uh, selecting a customer axler okay. I'm going to sell ice cream to axler how many only one ice cream of price 100 rupees okay, okay. for the public price list now and can create a price list for the axler where is the price list let's see where it is has it come here okay let's refresh this yeah it's here price list price list okay creating the price list for whom axler okay it should be active and it can be a sales or purchase price list as I am selling this okay I'm setting it as sales price list okay name of the price list is what we see the year or for the month I'm seeing fall May in the period there should be a fall for the item ice cream okay if you are setting a product you need to you don't need to set for the internal category it's two different scenarios let's explain in a little bit later so I'm going through this product section then minimum quantity this is a minimum quantity of purchase or sale to which this role should be applied so the minimum one sale will enable this rule that's what the minimum quantity says its definition is for the rule to apply both sold quantity must be greater than or equal to the minimum quantity specified in this field okay good I'm going to the public based on this is really important menu based on it can be based on public price list or cost price uh, that is a manufacturing or creating price and other price list or supplier prices on the product form you can choose any of those as per your requirement I'm just setting it as public price for my requirement and this equation is really important this is the core of this price list and it can be calculated base price this is the public price or price of the product into one if you need to have an increment or raise of 20 percentage of the product ice cream its price as you know its price is 100 now after increase it will be 120 rupees that is base price into 1 plus 20 percentage means 0.2 okay seven close seven close and saving this price let's let's see what happens with the quotation
creating in another tab axilla this was the quotation editing this okay setting the price list as axilla then for the ice cream let's see what was the price that is 100 now it's 120 rupees see what happened the 20 percentage raise in the price so you need to have a 20 or 30 percentage fall then 30 percentage point 0.3 what is the sign minus 30 that is 30 percentage reduction from the base price the base price is 100 100 minus 30 that is 70 rupees must be present there in the axler price list let's go for the quotation the price list is same and for ice cream what's the price now that is 70 rupees yeah very good it's working properly then no, I'm working with a single product. Okay. I'm going to a product category. How it works? Let's see. I'm setting the product category. Not setting the product, but setting the product category. Uh, let's see. All saleable product. Okay. All saleable product. Okay, good. Minimum quantity is same, equations, everything is same. Saving this. Oh, wait a minute. I need to explain one more concept. Let's keep it this as ice cream. If you need to have a specific value for this specific customer, I just need to give 70 rupees per ice cream to Axler. Fixed price. Then base price into 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 is 0 base price into 0 0 plus 70 so the fixed price of the ice cream is now 70 let's see what happens now saving this let's go to the quotation creating quotation for the ice cream what happens yeah it's rate is now 70 rupees Okay, very good. If it's rate as a uh, fixed rupees, editing. Say, I'm going to give the price as 150 rupees fixed price raise 150 rupees. Saving, saving. Let's see what happens in the quotation. Ice cream. The price is 150 rupees. Have you seen this? Yeah, this is how it works. Then let's move to the internal or product category. Moving from product to product category. I'm setting all saleable products. The discount 20%. Axler. For all saleable products, I'm giving discount 20 percentage to Axler. This is how the equation works. Saving, saving. So let's see what is the category of the product ice cream. Going to product ice cream. What is the category of ice cream? Let's see. Accounting. It's category all. I'm setting it as all saleable category. Saving. Then going to quotation. Creates. For Axler. The price list is Axler price list. For ice cream, it's not working now. Let's see what happens. It's 150 now also. Let's see what happened. It's not saved yet. 
saving this going to quotation creating quotation for the eyes yeah very good 20 percentage discount for all saleable product this is how the price list work the price list can work for a single product or a group of or a category of products yeah then as you see the price list can be the, that you should choose a price list for each customer it's really difficult for all time so we can just set the price list for each customer okay how that happens let's go for the customers okay no problem customers going to Axlor okay here is Axlor editing there is an option a tab sales and purchase where you can specify the sales and purchase price list yeah price list no I'm setting it as Axler okay very good if you have a purchase price list you can set it here also then after this whenever you create a quotation for Axler it automatically create a price list for whom Axler Axler price list see what happens see it's not like before it automatically set a price list axler for the customer axler okay that's how the price list works so we have explained a price list for single product or a group of products and setting automatic price list for a customer and one more concept that is the price list setting for currency how the price list can be created for a currency going to the price list creating there is an option called currency it can be enabled by going to settings going to settings accounting there is an option called features allow multi currencies after allowing this you can have a view like currency menu in the price list and some other forms okay so after enabling this we have a currency field here so price list I'm creating a price list for which one INR for whom Indian customers Indian customers I'm setting the price list Indian customer price list type is sale or purchase I'm setting it as sale price list INR okay saving this okay going to create a quotation let's see how this works Aggregate if he is an Indian customer, then Indian customer price list. So it came as rupees. Okay. In the case of public unit will be different. As you can see how this works with multi currency for a single product for multiple products for a group of products and automatically set to a customer that's all for the session hope you have enjoyed the discussion about the price list thank you for hearing thank you very much